Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another episode of Fishing Fridays. Today we're going to be doing our monthly um, tackle review and I have a really cool one today. So um, basically if you've ever heard of BFS fishing, it is bait finesse system. Um, it's popular more so in Japan, but America's finally getting some BFS tools. And if you Google BFS in this country at least, or in America, um, the casting like Zephyr and the Kestrel Elite, the Arc Gravity BFS Reel, and some others um, are kind of like the main ones that you're going to see. Um, but there's a company out in Arizona known as Bait Finesse Empire. Um, great shipping. I actually ordered some BFS equipment from them. Um, this rod was actually a birthday gift from their company a couple days ago. Um, turned to 27, yay, my knees already feel sore, <laughs> and I um, ordered some jig heads, some weedless, like, uh, 164th ounce, some mule jigs, and stuff like that, um, so I'm really excited about that, but I was looking to get started on this for a while now, and I love my spinning gear, I mostly creek fish, so smallmouth, some largemouth, a lot of trout, panfish, fallfish, um, you name it. Anything in a creek is essentially what I typically fish for the most. Um, now, I'm not bringing my BFS rod, you know, if I'm fishing a Lake Superior or something like that, like, that's not typically what I'm going to do. Um, but I want something a little bit different, and I wanted to test it out. Since it's so new, um, especially over here in America, like, there's not a lot of equipment available. So, I bought the Zephyr um, reel from Cast King which is also my first casting uh, reel. Um, I use a lot of their other products, uh, like scale, bags, uh, some equipment like that. Um, that was my first reel. Um, next month, I'll be doing the tackle review on that, um, which is very surprising. I actually really, really, really liked it. Um, but I was looking at rods, and I was going to get a Cast King rod originally, and then I was going to get a Dobbins Ultra Finesse BFS rod, um, again, from Bait Finesse Empire. But then I found it. The Daiwa's Tula XT BFS rod. Now, when you're thinking BFS, it is ultra light. It's light. You can go medium light, but it's less bfs -y, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, it's just for a little bit heavier gear, and obviously I love uh, medium light rods. Now, to learn, I wanted a light rod first, and I already have an ultra light rod in mind. So, I love it. I did my first video on it already. You guys are going to see that in a few weeks from now. Um, that's in editing right now. Actually, I just started editing it right before this video, so that's going to um, take me a bit. It was a long one, but it's really, really fun. I love it. I love BFS fishing so far. It was an absolute blast. I got some nice smallmouth, some panfish. I top watered with this rod. Um, and if you've seen this channel before, Daiwa Tatula specifically is my absolute favorite of anything. Um, their bait casting reel is an absolute unit. Uh, I use the Daiwa Tatula XT casting rod for that. And then I have the same thing, Daiwa Tatula XT on my spinning rod, my main one, which is paired with the Shimano Maravel. That's my medium light combo that I use for most of my creek fishing. That's going to be for like the bigger baits. So bigger smallmouth, bigger, more river focused, uh, like trout and stuff like that. So I love them. And for a hundred dollars, they are obscenely good. I absolutely love it. Um, they're beautiful. Now I did get the two piece and I'll show you guys, um, and the actual like specs of this rod and everything in a little bit closer detail. I just kind of wanted to do, uh, this perspective at first, but I absolutely love this rod. I had a great time, and it definitely handled um, decent fish. Good casting, good everything. Um, I'm really happy with the reel, and I'll talk more again about the reel in the future. But for this setup, I'm using 8-pound um, braid. So a lot of BFS reels have a much shallower spool than others, and apparently, um, I haven't experienced this, it's just something I've read, uh, that it can warp the inside of the reel, so you should use braid, which I have no problem with, I use braid for almost everything. So I'm using 8 pound braid with this, and then whatever reel, um, whatever leader that I'm typically going with, I usually use Seeger, Trout, and uh, Steelhead, like 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, depending on how rocky it is where I'm fishing, something like that. So um, it's an absolute blast, now let's take a closer look at it um, in more detail, I'll talk to you about the specs, the lures I used, and my first overall thoughts with it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you can, help the channel a lot. I do fishing videos every single Friday uh, between mystery tackle box unboxings, uh, tackle reviews, uh, GoPro adventures, and all that good stuff. If you're interested in checking out Mystery Tackle Box, check out the affiliate link below. We were just recently uh, affiliated slash sponsored by them, so it's very, very cool. Um, if you want to just expand your tackle needs and check out some new gear or help support the channel in general, you're, you're great. Um, it's been a great ride so far. 
I'm coming up in a few days on my two-year anniversary on YouTube already, and it's been an absolute blast. I didn't think I'd make it this far, <laughs> let alone what we can hopefully accomplish um, going in the next year. And uh, follow me on Instagram as well if you want better sneak peeks. Better sneak peeks into all the catches that I do, the adventures I go on, the tackle that I use, and all that good stuff. And fish brain as well. I'll have links to all that stuff in the description below. Now let's take a better look at the Diewoods Tool XT, brand new as of September 2024, BFS rod. Rod is the exact same color pattern, the black, the dark gray. It is a little bit muddy. I was actually fishing in some um, like <laughs> not perfect conditions with this. Um, tried it out in some rain as well. Um, but overall, the rod is fantastic, and like I said, it does retail like the others in the series for $100, and I absolutely love it so far. Um, definitely no complaints, especially for the $100 mark. Like, they always punch considerably um, above that weight class, in my opinion. Uh, speaking of weights, this is going to be rated for lures between 1 16th ounce and 3 8th ounce. I used mostly 3-inch wacky rigs to start, just to try and test out some smallmouth and some bigger panfish, and it did it beautifully. Um, again, I'm using 8 pound line. This is rated between 5 and 12 pounds, and obviously it is a two piece. I don't always buy two piece rods. Um, I usually prefer one pieces, but um, one pieces, yeah, one piece rods. <laughs> but um, I, I'm not going to complain about it. It uh, also has the die with the tool symbol there, which is definitely pretty awesome. Now, I liked it more top water, and I liked it more um, wacky rig than I did necessarily Ned rigging with a grub. Now, it just might have been bad luck for me that I wasn't getting a lot of looks, but I was pairing this, essentially, at this combo and my St. Croix uh, trout combo that I bought recently with the 13 uh, fishing reel on it. And I liked that one a little bit more for some things, but then I liked this a little bit better for, obviously, like the wacky rig perspective. Now, this is the light version. I wanted something a little bit heavier to learn on just because I'm still very new like two months in to bait casting and I wanted something a little bit heavier focused but I will say if you want a BFS like rod for primarily trout um which is actually a video I want to shoot once the weather cools down a little bit um we got some much needed rain here in PA uh, last night and we're gonna get a little bit more from this hurricane coming up here soon um, so I'm hoping we can actually get out there and get some cooler water here soon because it's been rough. It's been super shallow up here and I don't want to fish for trout as a capture release guy, obviously when the water is above 70. Um, so I've been kind of keeping track of that, just seeing, and the temperatures are just kind of a little here and there. So I'm going to wait until fall for the most part to focus on a BFS, um, combo video with trout, but I'm excited for that. This is probably not the rod for trout. I use a lot of, like, I Ned Rig typically most of the time for trout. I use a 164th to a 115th ounce um, jig head. Depending on what I have on it is some sort of, like, rubber nymph, rubber worm, night crawler, um, red worm. It depends, but I typically always bottom rig for trout. It is my favorite way to fish for them. It is my most successful way, and it just happens to be what I really enjoy. This is never going to cast a 164th ounce. I don't think that accurately. And I tried, and I bird's nested and backlashed a couple times. Um, I'm not saying that the rod is not capable of it. If maybe the rod and reel combo just weren't perfect for it. I want to test the ultralight rod, and I'm going to be getting the Cast King, probably Kestrel Elite rod. I believe it is. I, ha I mean, honestly, I have to look. Um, it's just, I I'm going to wait until fall to probably buy that. Um, and test it out for the first time just so I'm not buying like back to back to back reels and rods. Um, I literally this morning, um, Kistler rods down in Texas just did a super, super good sale on everything. So I picked up my first rod and reel from them. I'll be testing that combo out here. Um, probably scary enough in like November. I think that's when I'll be actually testing that combo out on channel and on camera, but, um, I don't want to ramble on too long about that. I don't think this is perfect for, um, trout. Like this setup here, um, I think it's just a little bit geared heavy. Now, once I get the ultralight rod, that is rated for 132 ounce on up. That might be a little bit easier because obviously that little trout jig head, super tiny, 164th ounce. But once you add a night crawler or grub to it, you can probably get a little bit um, more depth to it. So I definitely have to work on getting more accurate with this. But I was making like one arm, side arm, stupid casts that I can't even make on my Shimano combos. And I'm not saying this is better than the Shimano combos, I'm just saying I really have confidence in this and the Cast King Reel that I was using that 
it really, really, really worked out for me. Um, and it's so much fun. I did not think it was going to be nearly as fun as it was, um, but it absolutely was. If you're curious, this is the Cast King Reel. Again, I was beating this stuff up to test them out. Um, there's that 8-pound braid. This thing weighs almost nothing. The rod weighs almost nothing. It is an absolute blast. So if you're like me and you're looking to get into a new part of the hobby all the time, BFS fishing is very much the way to go. I love it, and I think it's a blast. And hey, you know what? I got a sticker, too. That's always nice. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining me for another tackle review. Like I said, I post fishing videos every Friday. However, I'm looking to expand that um, to two times a week. I would love to do more. I would love to do two times a week, but uh, between my regular job, this, obviously there's a Legos, if you haven't seen the rest of the channel. It's Legos and video games. This is the only channel in the world where you can get Legos, fishing, video games, all in one area. <laughs> um, but that's going to do it for this actual review, guys. Head over to BaitFinesseEmpire.com. If you're interested, not affiliated or sponsored or anything, this is just awesome in their company. Um, great shipping, great products, and it's an absolute blast. I'm just, I cannot believe how much fun I had using this, and I'm excited to go back out there. I think I've gone out three short trips to like film one video, and every single time was an absolute blast and a great hookup ratio. Um, this, I would say, it's, it takes some practice, by all means, but you don't have to just rip your sock, like the arm out of its socket, trying to throw little lures like I thought you would. It's genuinely really fine-tuned, really finessey, and if you're like me and that's all you really fish... It's awesome. So definitely check out your first BFS combo. I love it. It's an absolute blast. And like I said, I'm looking forward to doing an actual dedicated reel review and uh, reel reviews, um, rod reviews and stuff like that more and more often. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much. Like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Again, check out Mystery Tackle Box in the description below if you want to grow your tackle needs. And follow me on Fishbrain on Instagram if you're interested in supporting the channel and joining my very fast and uh, very fun growing community right now. And I'll see you next time. Happy building. Uh, tight lines, everybody.